Hi there. I tried to make this video when I was at home, but it didn't work out so well. So I decided to go for a drive. Um, the bike ride didn't happen. And I just wanted to share a really neat little story. It's super short. So a couple of years ago, I went on a mission trip. I had never been on an authentic mission trip in my entire life and it was crazy. I was uh, living out in the middle of nowhere and I saw this video on Facebook and decided to watch it. And the more I watched it, the more intrigued I became with this place um, that I eventually ended up going to. Um, I signed up, I only had like three weeks to get a visa and to buy my ticket and to pack and prepare and raise money and all this stuff. It was crazy. So, but before I went on that trip, I felt like I was supposed to read this book by this man named Bob Sorge, which I just realized I've been saying his name wrong for quite a long time. So anyway, I bought this book. Um, I saw the title of it and I felt intrigued to buy this book and so I bought it. And I only had three weeks and I was going to be in Tijuana. And so I took the book with me on the plane and I read the book and you know, it, it sunk in. I would say it sunk in maybe, you know, five inches into my heart. <laughs> But I, I read it, and I had some pretty mind-blowing experiences when I was in Tijuana regarding the very material that the book is all about. I'm um, not giving the title away yet. So anyway, lo and behold, um, before I moved to Texas, I had invited a friend over, and I gave her that book and it's hard sometimes to give away Bibles and books, but I do. Um, I personalize them and, you know, make them my own just because I'm learning so much while I'm reading them that I want to um, absorb as much as I can. So I do write in my books and underline things and etc. So anyway so i i moved to texas i moved to austin texas i used to live in state college pennsylvania and so i i don't know i just decided to buy another one of these books which is really weird i couldn't even read it because you know i just it wasn't it wasn't the book that i initially you know read as i was going to tijuana and it just wasn't the same and Strangely, I know this sounds rude and weird, but I asked this lady that I had given the book to if she was done with it. Now, this is like years later, and she's like, oh, yeah, and I said, well, I know this is kind of odd, but are you willing to part with that book? And she's like, yeah, I don't, I don't care, so she mailed the book to me, and I was so thrilled. It was like getting back an old friend that I had lost or something. So, I'm going to get more into this later on, but I started reading that book again about a week ago, and I realized, as it is in our lives, there's lots of unfinished business inside of our hearts. There are things that we visit, and in between you and the Lord, you work on them for a little while, and, and it feels like, oh, I've made some accomplishments, and then all of a sudden you realize more stuff starts coming to the surface, kind of like in the water here, you know, like stuff comes to the surface. <laughs> so anyway, um, I decided I would start reading it again. I don't know. I mean, the idea did not just come to me by myself. I truly believe it was the Holy Spirit just, you know, reminding me that there's more to this issue in my life and I need to revisit it. So today, I was going to go on this bike ride, and I stuck the book in a backpack, and I hung it on my bike, and I got my bike positioned to get out the front door, because in my apartment, 
I have to always keep my bike inside. I don't have a garage. And whenever I'm gonna go for a ride, I have to finagle a little bit to get the bike and you know get outside and get going. So, but I was feeling really tired and I probably look really tired because I didn't really get much sleep last night. But I sat down on my couch and was feeling really burdened for a friend right now that her father is very ill. I wasn't feeling real motivated to go jump on the bike and I thought, you know, I'm gonna pray and I'm gonna read a little bit of that book. <laughs> well, I couldn't find the book. I mean, <laughs> short-term memory loss, I don't know. But I walked around my apartment and I could not find that book anywhere. I kid you not. I was frustrated. I didn't know why I couldn't find the book. <laughs> I sat down on the couch and I realized I had ordered that second copy, which I think was the first copy I had. It's all all weird, but you know, I kind of thought in my mind, I sure would like to know where the book is. And all of a sudden, in my mind, I heard it's in that backpack on your bike. <laughs> and I got up and I was like, my eyes got big as saucers and I walked over and there was the book inside the backpack. And I knew that that was just a, you know, a, a little simple way that God was saying, I love you. And it touched my heart. It really did. It touched my heart in a huge, enormous way, actually, because God cares about the little things. He cares about the little things. I kid you not. I mean, He knows the things that will delight your heart. He knows your favorite color, you know? He knows your favorite food. He knows your favorite movie. He knows your favorite shirt. I mean, and you know, those aren't like enormous things to most people, but to God, He really cares about all the little things. And so I got that book and sat down on my couch. <laughs> I never even read it. <laughs> well, you know what I did? I put it in a different backpack and took a drive and found this beautiful park that you can see behind me. It's a quarry. And the name of the park is Quarry. I think it's called Quarry Park or Quarries or something like that. But I just, I found this place and I was just like, Jesus. This is too incredible for words. I know right now my daughter is experiencing the most beautiful place on earth, Alaska, and she's experiencing things like this every single day. Every time they go on a little, you know, drive or little road trip or anything, they see glorious landscape and things that you just don't see in a city. And so I just, I just feel happy to see something like this just kind of on the outskirts and you know you still hear the traffic <laughs> from afar and hear people walking around and things like that but it's beautiful and I just just feel a peace inside you know um, sometimes you know during this COVID-19 thing and just all the things that are going on you know, we, we feel the weight, the weight of the world, the weight of all the problems that are in the world. And I feel like God is just saying, like he says in Matthew 11, come unto me, come unto me if you're weary and you're burdened and you're weighed down and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you for my burden and my yoke are easy and I will give you rest learn from me because I'm meek and I'm lowly. So I just wanted to encourage you with those words and thank you for listening to the story and I'm going to tell you more about the book next time. See you later.